Hello, every ghoul, ghost, and goblin. It is me. And today we are back with the unboxed version of Lagunifier. She's so pretty. She's even um prettier now that she's out of the box. At first, like, I've only seen pictures of her unboxed. Um and like on display and she looked really pretty but when I bought mine in the box I didn't think I was gonna like her as much but now that I have her out of the box and I've had her sitting on my desk for um two days now um I do like her again um so she comes with the yellow stand and the yellow brush like all the freaky fusion dolls do um and she comes with this beautiful jellyfish inspired like a uh, bucket bag it has a lot of room inside it's not hollow uh, I mean it's hollow it's not filled in or anything so you can actually put stuff in there it might be a little hard to get little things out of it though so I wouldn't like put earrings or anything in here maybe like um, maybe like one of their drinks or something could fit in here um but it's pink and it has little detailing of bubbles and uh yeah that that it just kind of looks like masses of bubbles to me um there might be a sea turtle in there hiding somewhere I don't know. um let's start from the bottom and work our way up that sounds good her skin is like like a very grayish blue and it has the scaling details like uh, Lagunifier does. Lagunifier. Jennifer does. And she has gold fins. Her tail is also um, like Lagunifier's tail. And it goes into this spread out gold uh, finage. And on the other underside of the tail it is smoother. Kind of like a snake belly. Uh, I didn't actually notice this until now. Uh, her shoe actually has, like, gold paint that got tripped down onto it. Uh-oh, I'll have to fix that. But, her shoes are super gorgeous. See the gold paint that got dropped onto it? it has this little fin right here, and then it has, like, mix of, like, a seashell E-esque top and then like like normal like basket weaving of the heel right here and then it has like orientally uh straps around the sides wow let's get a side view wow here i'll do that see they're kind of like orientally uh and then it kind of looks like a tail coming across the top. Can you see what I'm talking about? This little edging stuff or maybe like a row of pearls maybe? Sometimes these shoes you gotta kinda use your imagination on what they were trying to bring inspiration from. Um, but she has this little skirt that is covered in a jellyfish and uh, to me it kinda looks like some of the jellyfish are like umbrellas. Like a uh, Chinese uh, umbrellas, like the paper ones, and then she has this gold belt, which let me take her off her stand, um, comes off, and then the edges of her skirt have like this green mesh that flares out at the sides, on uh, the side's a little crushed, eh, but see, a little green that flares out, and then her top is actually cut so you can see her scales on her sides. And now her shirt, it doesn't really pick up as bright on the camera, but trust me, it is bright pink. Like, imagine the brightest pink. Neon pink. Like, hot neon pink. That is what her uh, dress color is, and this top part of her head dress. Um, but here, let me put your arms down. Um, her hands do go into the fin like the webbed hands like Laguna does have and she has gold fins on her um arms like her legs do 
Now her top is like a halter. And it has this little black mesh around the sleeves to give it almost like a puffy look. And uh, it almost kind of looks like a swimsuit top to me. Now her hair. Her hair is this bright yellow with like a lime green under. You can't really tell that much on my camera. Um, but you see the green in her hair? That is what this undertone is. And then this is yellow. And then it's half and half on the sides. This part is green and this part is yellow. And then this top half, which is heavily gelled. Possibly the most heaviestly gelled hair I've ever witnessed in my whole entire life. Is right there. Um, now her headdress to me is made out of like pearls and sea life and coral and um, there's actually if you look inside her curl there's a bar that connects both sides of these headpieces to each other so it is actually a hair clip. You can see uh, on the back the distress of the clip right there on the plastic. You know how like if you bend a plastic too much it turns white? That's like a little hair clip. And you can see right here, that's where the clip comes out of. So if you wanted to take this out of her hair, you could, but I don't suggest it. Here are her ears. She does have holes where earrings could go, so if you wanted to pierce her ears you could, but her ears are not naturally pierced. Her body, if you cannot tell, is um, like uh, Jennifer's because it is scaled, but her outfit is more Laguna inspired. And then she has Laguna's face for the most part. Um, she does have um, Laguna's eye shape and uh, face structure, but she has the eye color and eye shape like the... Uh, the color of her eye is clearly Jennifer because it looks like a dragon eye and it is yellow. And her eyebrows are more Jennifer inspired. But she does have little uh little pale blue freckles, if you can see. Well they're bright purple well they're bright blue to me, but on the camera they are kind of barely visible. Um I forgot that I took her belt off, but this is her belt because I wanted to show off the little slits in her dress, but this is her belt, and it kind of just clips, and it's kind of like a tiered belt, and it has the same, like, patterny, like, on the fronts of her shoes, and then it just goes into place right there. Now. The only thing I can say I don't like about this dome is um, just the same as I feel about any doll, really, that has a tail. Um, as much as I love the tails, I love the dolls with tails, is it is a little bit harder to put them on a stand, which is really only important if you're a collector like me and you like to put them on their stands. But some collectors don't like their dolls on stands. So if you don't like to put your dolls on stands, then this is not a problem. But for doll collectors like me, I kinda gotta worry about it. Because I tend to like my dolls on stands. Not always, and if they don't come with a stand, then I don't put them on it. Um, for the most part. Unless there is a doll that just absolutely will not, for their life, stay on a stand. Um, which I have had that happen in the past. Um, but yeah. I like Laguna Fire, and I think she's super pretty. And last but not least, her book. Her book is Lay Turquoise the Ombres into a reddish orange. And it says Laguna Fire in two different handwritings. And then that's what it says at the bottom. It says, hey bruh, if you found my diary, please return it to me before it singes your fingers. Um, and then the diary is kind of written half and half in Laguna and Jennifer. 
I'm going to turn the pages as slowly as I can, and please uh, pause if you want to read it, and if not, this is really the end of the review. <laughs> um, so give me a like, and uh, comment, and subscribe, and you can see all the other stuff I get. Um, but yeah, this is really it about Laguna Fire. Um, she's super pretty, and I would suggest anyone, if you find her, or if you, maybe you were on the fence about her, she is definitely prettier once you get her home and out of the box. But with most Lagunas, I find their eyes can be a little wonky sometimes, and this one, I am happy to say, has very minimum eye wonk. Sometimes, uh, because Laguna's eyes have always been a little more buggy, like they kind of pop out of her face a little bit more compared to the other girls, and it might be a little more sunken in and more natural. She has more of a fishy eye pop to her, like her eyes are rounder. Uh, does anyone else feel that way about Laguna? Um, that's why I don't really own many Lagunas, except for the Frights Camera Action Laguna, because I thought she was beautiful. But this is really my first. Laguna Laguna. No, that's not really a Laguna. <laughs> anyway, I really like her, so if you're on the fence about her, I would suggest getting her anyway. Um, because she is a lot prettier when you get her home. So, alrighty guys. We will see you guys in the next episode. And until then, goodbye my friends. Bye!